Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Cody here, and welcome to episode 4 and the finale in my DVD VideoSoft free studio mini series. Now, it's been a fun ride going over all these programs, but it has to come to an end sometime, right? Now, if you guys missed any of the past episodes, we had three episodes so far covering the internet category, DVD and video, and MP3 and audio. If you guys missed any of these, feel free to click on the icons and that will take you back to those videos. The internet category, we talked about downloading from YouTube, which included audio and video files, also uploading to YouTube. The DVD and video category, we talked about converting between many different video formats. We skipped quick editing, but we did cover a free screen recorder. And in the MP3 and audio section, we talked about converting between different audio formats, and we also went over a video dub. Now today's episode is going to cover the CD, DVD, and burning data category. So let's go ahead and open this up. Alright, so we got five categories and five programs to get to, so let's go ahead and open the first one. It's the free disk burner. Now what this program does, it allows you to burn data onto either CDs, DVDs, DVD DLs, or Blu-rays. So you're going to open it up and it has a very simple layout, just like all the other programs. Now before you add your files into this program, you're going to choose what you're going to burn them onto. You have the options of CD, DVD, DVD DLs, and Blu-rays. Depending on how much space you need and what you have, you go ahead and choose from here. And we're going to use CDs as an example. Now also, if you do have a CDR or DVDR, meaning you can record over it again, if you have one of those and you want to record over it again, you can go ahead and hit the quick erase button. And what this will do, it will erase all the data that is on that CD or on that DVD so that you can use it again. Now the first thing you're going to do is import your data. So you can choose to add file by file, you can add by folder, or you can add images. And once you add things onto here, you'll see at the bottom you have the size on the disk. Now as you add files, we'll go ahead and add some. Now as you add files in, it'll show you how much space you are taking up. Right now we're taking up 36 megabytes, and we have 703 megabytes to go. And it will also show you in a bar form the blue bar being how much you're taking up and the line being how much space you have left. Now once you have everything set and you're ready to go, you have a few options you can choose from. You can choose the recorder, you can change the title of the disk, change the speed, the write speed, you can import from your last session, verify data on disk after burning, eject the disk after the burn is complete, or finalize the disk. And once you're all set and good to go, go ahead and burn it and you have a data disk. Now up next we have the free DVD video burner. What this lets you do, it lets you take video files or DVD video files on your computer and burn them onto DVDs. Now if you want to convert your video files to a DVD format, we explained that in episode 2 when we covered the DVD and video. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open this up. And the program itself is a very simplistic program. You go ahead and add in your DVD folder. It will show you how much space you're using on the disk once you import the DVD folder and how much space you have left. Once you have everything set, hit the burn button and you have a DVD. Up next we have the free DVD video converter and what this does, it lets you burn video off your DVDs. So let's go ahead and open this up. Now the first thing you can do is input your DVD and if you need to find it, you can browse. Next up we have a second section, you hit the choose button and this will let you choose what part of the DVD do you want to burn. You can burn specific portions of it or you can burn the complete DVD. You also have the option to choose the language you want it in and an option to add subtitles if they are available. Once you have that set, you choose your output file. Now once you have your output file selected, you go ahead and choose your format and it gives you three different formats to choose from. You have MP4 which is widely popular, MKV and AVI. Once you choose a format, you go ahead and choose your quality and when you're all set to go, you go ahead and convert it and it will burn the video from the DVD onto your computer. Next up we have our free audio CD burner and what this lets you do, it lets you burn music from your computer onto a CD. So let's go ahead and open this up. Now the first thing you're going to do is browse for some music. It'll show up under your inputted files. You can choose to remove any music if you want to. And on the bottom it'll tell you how much space you're taking up. Just like in all the other programs, this one tells you how many minutes you're taking up and how many minutes you have left. Once you're all set and good to go, burn your CD and you got a nice CD to take on the road. And lastly, you have your free audio CD to MP3 converting. And essentially this is a CD ripper. So if you ever want to rip the music off of your old CDs, you go ahead and do so with this program. First thing you do is you input an audio CD and when you input one, the audio tracks will show up here. You can choose to select one, select all, unselect them all, and you can get the information for them. Next up you have your output folder. It gives you a default folder, but you can always change it if you want to. 
You could also have the option to open it to see what you have in that folder. And you have a button that says Name Format. And what this does, it allows you to put all the information on each song that you want. So for example, do you want the track number, the artist, the album, and the year? It will show up on your MP3 name. You also have a separator on how you want to separate things with an underline, a dot, comma, and so forth. So you go ahead and choose that, hit the OK button, and next up you have your formats. You have MP3, OGG, WAV, WMA, and AAC to choose from. Once you have one selected, you choose the quality, and you're good to go. Go ahead and convert that audio CD to MP3 files on your computer. So that's it for the CD, DVD, and burning data section. And that's it for the free studio mini series. I hope you guys enjoyed this series as much as I have. And I'm really glad that I had a chance to share a program like this, a program that's very versatile, has so many different purposes with you guys, my fans. And the best part of this wasn't the fact that I got to share it with you guys, but that a lot of you guys out there found it very useful. So once again, I hope you guys enjoyed my free studio mini series. If you haven't checked out any of the past episodes or missed any of the past episodes, feel free to click on the icons. And that's it for the mini series, guys. I'll see you guys back with my normal type of videos very soon. And this is Castro5661. Peace.